Hi, I'm Sean Powers, and as a Linux trainer for CBT Nuggets, one of the questions that I get asked the most often is which is better, the Linux Plus certification or the Elpic One certification? And of course, the answer is neither one is better, they're just slightly different. And even that hasn't always been the case because Linux Plus certification used to be the exact same thing as LPIC1 certification because CompTIA did not have their own Linux exam at all. In fact, what you would do is you would get trained for LPIC1, you would take the LPIC1 exams, and if you pass them, you would get the LPIC1, but you could also get Linux Plus certified. It was literally a two for one kind of thing. You would train up and you would get both certified certifications uh, completely. The other thing that makes them similar is both LPIC1 and Linux Plus are platform agnostic. And what I mean by that is, let's say that you were going to get uh, your certification, your Red Hat uh, Certified System Administrator certification. Let's say you were going to do that. Obviously, if you get that certification, you are going to learn Red Hat and nothing else because it's a certification based on Red Hat servers. The thing with LPIC1 and Linux Plus is they are uh, agnostic. They don't care what platform you're on, whether you're using Red Hat or CentOS or Debian or Ubuntu or or OpenSUSE, whatever Linux distribution you're on, all of the stuff that you learn in those two, LPIC1 and Linux Plus, are going to be applicable to your job. So it's a really nice way that you can get certified without knowing even what kind of computers you're going to be working on in a potential future job. Now, they are different because they're no longer the same exam at all. In fact, CompTIA recently, like a year ago, maybe a little more than a year ago, they decided they were no longer going to partner with the LPI. Now, the LPI is the Linux Professional Institute. They're the ones that do the LPIC training. Uh, they decided to part ways, and now CompTIA has their own certification. The Linux Plus certification is now its own product, not connected to LPIC1 at all. The difference between them, apart from them being separate, is the way they approach how you might take your certification paths, if you will. Now, the Linux Professional Institute, as it says in the name, is a Linux-specific kind of uh, institute, right? They only do Linux training. So if you are going to get LPIC certified, the idea or your path for future training is to get more and more specialized in Linux. So there's LPIC 1, there's LPIC 2, which is more advanced, and then you can go all the way to LPIC 3, which has multiple domains that you can specialize and get certified in. So from LPI, it's Linux, 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 and even more Linux. Now, on a side note, another nice thing about the LPI is they also offer the Linux Essentials certification, which is uh, kind of a step back from either Linux Plus or LPIC 1. It's if you're not familiar with Linux at all, it's a really great way to get into the door. Whether you're going to continue down the LPIC path or not, that Linux Essentials course is specific to LPI and it's a really nice certification. Even if you don't go for the cert, uh, the training to get you to the point where you're, okay, now I'm ready to do LPIC 1 or Linux Plus training. Anyway, that's just a nice feature that LPIC has. They have this long, narrow Linux path that you can get from ground zero all the way to super advanced Linux user. Now, CompTIA takes another approach. They only have the single Linux certification, Linux Plus. So you take the one exam and you're Linux Plus certified. If you want to go further in the CompTIA world, they expect that you will broaden what you do. So you take Linux Plus, you get certified in Linux, and then maybe you take Network Plus, and you do pen testing, and you do Security Plus. Basically, they want you to become a more well-rounded IT person as opposed to a very, very specialized Linux person. So it's two different approaches to becoming uh, a super nerd, if you will. Uh, one is Linux specific and the other, you know, it, it gives you that Linux base and then expands. Now, things like Security Plus and Pentest, they still utilize a lot of Linux inside of those exams. It's just that the, the exams and the certifications aren't specifically uh, getting you more Linuxy initials at the end of your name.
right? So that's kind of the difference between them. And I'll go back to the first question, which is better? And of course, the answer is neither one. It depends on what you want to do with your career. If you are at a place in your career where you're working on Linux and you want to get more and more specialized in Linux and understand Linux, be able to do more Linux, then LPIC offers you more training and more certification in the Linux specific world. If you're trying to uh, land a job or you're in your job, but you want to be able to do more things and broaden your horizons and make yourself a more well-rounded, if not quite as deep and narrow uh, IT person, then CompTIA offers a bunch of other certifications that are going to uh, make you more functional in a more diverse type of network situation. So they're both fine. And here is the final bit of awesomeness, right? Because they offer the same level of training, for the most part, LPIC 1 has a few things that Linux Plus doesn't have and maybe vice versa. The overlap in what they provide is huge. So if you completely prepare for the LPIC 1 certification, you take all the qualifications, you pass the exams, you get LPIC 1, and then you're like, okay, now I'd like Linux Plus certification. You look at the qualifications for the Linux Plus exam and you're gonna probably know 95% of the things because you just learned it for LPIC 1. They're very, very, very similar in the concepts that they teach. So you can probably get both of them with very little extra effort. Even though they're not the same exact exam anymore, it's a lot of the same material. So you don't have to like study twice. You might be able to uh, do a very minor touch up and be able to do one if you've already done the other. So neither one is better. Whichever path works better in your plan for your future. And ultimately, there's no reason not to just get both of them because when you've studied for one, you've almost completely studied for the other. So I hope that clears up the Linux Plus and LPIC 1 controversy that seems to be going on. Uh, it's just because they split, I think, why there's a recent talk and a lot of people ask me which to take. Uh, and really, yeah, there's no wrong answer. Either way is awesome. Uh, I, I like both of the exams. I like both ideas of getting deeper and wider. Uh, so if you really just want to become that ultimate person, I'd say go down both paths. Go down LPI and then go on CompTIA and you know, broaden your horizons there as well. So anyway, I hope that that clears things up for you. I hope you understand the difference between the exams and uh, the rationale behind the paths that the different companies have chosen. And ultimately, I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.